I do not envy Theresa May's job. Quite simply because there is no good outcome of leaving the European Union. In fact, Brexit in general, you can't, despite what she keeps saying, you can't make a plan that works for everyone. If you voted to stay in the European Union, any kind of Brexit almost agreement, fantasy of an agreement, isn't going to work for you because you want the full benefits of being in the European Union. If you wanted out of the European Union, if you voted for Brexit, well, there was a hundred different types of Brexit that everyone else was promising. So the chances are your idyllic version isn't ever going to come to fruition. This particular Brexit deal is crap for two main reasons that I'm going to get into. First off, we're at the table, but we have no voice. So essentially now we are going to be in the position that Brexiteers have said we've been in for the last couple of decades. We can't control anything. The reality is we had a massive voice in the European Union. We had a lot of swagger. We had a lot of say. But now we don't have that because, well, because you voted to leave the European Union. Again, it's not perfect, but it's better to be in it and reform it than to be outside of it and lose everything that we are going to lose. We make a lot of our money through the European Union. We import half of our food through the European Union. And uh, three weeks ago now, uh, I read a report on a number of companies that have confirmed they are definitely leaving the UK because of Brexit, meaning uh, the, the total sum of money earned by all these different companies was about 280 billion per day. A friend of mine keeps saying we're going to be 11 billion better off a year. We've just lost companies that have 280 billion pounds running through them per day. There is no way in hell we're going to be better off because we've just lost tax revenue from these companies, meaning we are at a net loss. It's not just as simple as, hey, we pay this much in, now we won't have to pay this much in, so we're going to have that money. It's not that at all. And even if it was that simplistic, schools across the country have said, we cannot afford to keep our schools open for five full days. Philip Hammond's response was to make a budget where he cut funding for education. The number of crimes rising in this country and the response was to cut money to the police force. So no, this isn't going to work. We don't have the government that will make it work. And the UN's report of poverty in the UK has just been ignored instead of addressed or at least addressed in any meaningful way by this government. There will be no benefits unless you're a multi-millionaire like Jacob Rees-Mogg, which means you can avoid a tax dodging crackdown, which is coming in 2019. Now, for you and me, that's not really gonna mean anything, but if we were still in the European Union, Jacob Rees-Mogg, who is a multi-millionaire, would have to pay a little bit more. Bear in mind, this is the man who voted against raising the minimum wage, who voted against raising uh, JSA, uh, pay who voted against everything that would benefit everyone who actually works in this country. The second biggest thing, uh, the biggest issue I see with this Brexit deal, and bear in mind, at the time of writing, it's, it's been agreed. At, at the time of recording, it's been agreed by uh, the EU and by Theresa May, but it's not been agreed yet by Parliament. We've just lost our workers' rights. Now, this is something that the Conservatives have been saying for years. They want to get rid of human rights. They want to get rid of workers' rights. Everyone keeps telling me, oh, they're not going to do it. They're not going to do it. Don't be simple. Don't be silly. They've just done it. So, you know, when you have a day off, and this is more prevalent in care, uh, maybe you've worked 14 days on the bounce. Maybe most of them were 14 and a half hours shifts and you've got your one day off. Then work a call and say, if you don't come in, we're going to fire you. 
Workers rights meant that you didn't have to go in for that day because it was your day off. You've now lost your workers rights. Sorry, but that's what you voted for when you voted to leave the European Union under a conservative government that has told you for decades they want to get rid of workers' rights and they want to get rid of human rights. Point blank. In the last few days, we've had uh, a number of confirmations that the price of food is going to go up. Well, inflation has meant that the average, uh, that the national minimum wage puts people in a worse position than it did 10 years ago. And now food's going to go up. A lot of people in the country are on minimum wage and they are not making it. Not because they're lazy, unlike what Jacob Rees-Mogg tries to tell people, but because inflation hasn't kept with minimum wage, because minimum wage hasn't kept with inflation. Again, because of Jacob Rees-Mogg, because of Theresa May, because of David Cameron, because of them constantly voting against the best interests of the public. Brexit is an awful deal. And the main reasons that people voted for Brexit, if we get rid of, and I admit a minority, but not something that can be overlooked, if we get rid of the, the racist voters, the main reasons were sovereignty, name me, name me one law that we don't have control over, and control of our borders. Now, that's not entirely not racist. It's not entirely racist, I don't think. But that has a severe consequence because despite what Theresa May has been saying, uh, despite what the Conservatives have been saying, they've contradicted themselves quite a bit, we now know if you are from the EU, and I, I know this firsthand because a family has told me, they've not been here five years. And they wouldn't have been here five years from when the, the when we leave the EU, officially leave the EU. Meaning that despite this family working for the NHS, they will have to go back to the country they originally came from. Meaning that our NHS is losing yet more staff. Brexit is a terrible deal. Theresa May has never acted in the best interest of the British people. Not one single day of her career has she done what's best for the British people. But I am quite glad that she's stupid enough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Jeremy Corbyn on a TV debate, and I will be looking out for that. But as of right now, I would recommend that people vote, uh, would recommend that people sign a petition going around to, to vote for another referendum. Whether you wanted Brexit or not, I guarantee you don't want the fallout that is coming. And it's not like I don't think the UK can stand on its own two feet. But there's no way in hell it can do it with the government we have. It can't do it with a Conservative government that takes from the, the vulnerable and gives to the privileged. I'm sorry, but there's no other way of ending this video. We are fucked because of Brexit. We're fucked because too many people decided to listen to liars and crooks and con artists who don't have an honest bone in their body and have now, like every other rat, fled the ship.